Hey everybody, Hipster Username here. We're gonna walk through the model manager and how to input models from Hugging Face and other model marketplaces directly into Invoke using the user interface. Now, in the past, models had to be added through the models.yaml file manually or using the import function on the command line interface, but the model manager will allow you to add models directly through the user interface. So let's run through it. To start, you're going to want to open up your model manager up at the top of the screen. It's this small kind of box icon that'll open up your list of available models. You can then, aside from loading existing models that you have or editing them, uh, can go into add a new model. When you hit the add new model button, the modal will ask you for your checkpoint folder. You're going to want to pass in a folder that contains all of your models. Now, this can actually be a parent folder. Uh, it can be your entire Invoke AI folder if you want. Uh, the model management scanning functionality will scan all the way down to identify any checkpoint files that are there. Uh, so use whatever level of granularity you want, but you can go ahead and paste that path right in to the UI and then hit the Find Models button. The system will then go through and scan all of the available models in that set of folders, which you can then select and add to Invoke. Now you'll notice that I didn't have to input any of the information about the model like I used to in the past. That's not because it doesn't matter anymore. It's because we are using some informed guessing as to what models are being added to Invoke. If you click the edit button or just select the model, you'll get this model editing screen. This will show you all of the fields that were input automatically when the model was added. You'll see that there was no description added. The config is automatically set to a V1 model. This just means it was based on a 1.4 or 1.5 stable diffusion base. The model location, which is the file that was scanned by the model management functionality. No VAE file, which is something that you're going to want to add manually. And then the default width and height of 512 by 512. Now, obviously, once Invoke supports Stable Diffusion 2.0 and 2.1, this set of functionality will change. Uh, we'll see models that have a non-standard 512 by 512 width and height, and we'll also need to make sure we're using the right configs. But for now, adding models is pretty straightforward and easy to do. A couple of things to note, when you're adding models to Invoke, you're going to want to make sure that you pick the right config file for the model. Now, most of the time, an inference model is what you're using. This just means that you're trying to generate new images and you want the standard functionality associated with using that inference logic. If you're using an inpainting model, this config file does need to change and you're going to want to make sure that that is pointing to an inpainting config. You can see the full list of configs in the file path of your configs folder, and you can choose the one that makes the most sense for what you're adding. Inference and in painting are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for. And as far as a VAE location, you can go ahead and pass in the VAE file if you have it downloaded. Uh, typically, I'm using the standard VAE file unless one is provided with the model. Uh, it certainly doesn't need to be added. It's an optional enhancement. Uh, but I do find that it adds a small dash of quality that I just want to make sure I'm pulling in. Now, the other thing that I also recommend doing anytime you are adding a model is if there is a keyword to invoke that model's core essence, whatever it is, uh, it has been trained on, you'll want to remember to add that into the description. It makes it just super easy to reference as you're using that model to generate new images. In this case, for the mega model uh, from SeekArt, I'll just add a description because it doesn't really uh, need much else. And once you're done editing, you can just hit update model and everything is updated for you. So let's go ahead and give it a spin. And if that ain't one happy space cowboy, I am not a hipster. That's it. Model management is pretty simple. One thing I do want to call out since the 2.2.5 release also included one other feature is Invoke is now available in eight languages. Uh, you have a lot of people to thank for that. Check out the translators who gave a lot of their time to translate the UI and help make Invoke even more accessible than it already is. There's a lot more coming, so stay tuned. And until next time, may your hands be perfect.